Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Tuesday and we are getting ready to go out and do our thing, go to the post office and our um, shaved ice, the Hawaiian shaved ice place. They packed up and left and I was just getting to where I loved it. It's probably a good thing. But anyway, so I thought today I couldn't decide if I wanted to try to do a tutorial. I got some new Dior stuff this week and I'm actually wearing it now. I'm wearing one of the quads or I guess it's a quint, one of the palettes, and um, some other stuff that I'll show you on Friday. But I, so far, I really like it. And um, so I couldn't decide if I wanted to do like a vlog or do like a tutorial type thing. And I turned this over Ooh, this morning. Camera, if you can see it. Yeah, there it goes. So this is a little date book that Christy sent me, one of the girls, the, one of my subscribers. And um, I've been, you know, having it right here. I love all the little got like little Bible verse type things, a little inspirational note on every day. And today it says, face your day with a new sense of confidence. God is with you. And I thought, well, that tells me right there what video I should do. And um, I know that every, you know, I don't know, I hate to say, I think most people are religious and I think most people are Christians. And most people understand that a lot of confidence that you get is from God. I mean, I was thinking last night, you know, when I said my prayers and stuff, or sometimes I do like these little tricks to myself to go to sleep because as you can tell, I have the type of mind that just, it's hard to turn off. I just think about, you know, one thing after the other. And when I'm trying to go to sleep, sometimes I have to kind of trick myself to quit thinking about things and do play little games. And sometimes I'll just make lists in my head or something like that. And last night I was listing 20 things I was thankful for. And I mean, it just, I could do it in like five seconds, you know, just, and not just, you know, my family, but just specific things that I was thankful for. You know, I'm thankful that my parents are healthy. I'm thankful that Brooke, she got her schedule and she, you know, has friends in her class. You know, I was trying to think of just very specific things that I was thankful for. And it just happened so quickly. And I was just thinking about, you know, when I say my prayers and stuff, how much confidence I get from being a Christian and knowing that I'm saved and knowing that no one, no matter what happens, a zombie apocalypse <laughs> could happen, as my kids would talk about. You know, anything could happen. And I have that safe feeling knowing that, you know, my family and I are going to heaven. And so, I hope that you also have that feeling and then that kind of led me to another thing you know the other day I was kind of touching on confidence that we get from you know just being a child and that our parents help us with and things that I'm trying to help my children with and I think a lot of the things a lot of the things I need to be a lot better on but then a lot of the things that I really try to do and I was thinking one of the things that I'm most thankful for with my parents is like I said the other day, really, they really were working with me the whole time I was a child on my confidence and, you know, helping me get out of my comfort zone. But what I was thinking of is that they always did it in a very loving way. And even when, you know, we were being disciplined, which I don't ever remember getting a spanking, but we didn't need one because we knew my parents were serious and they were very black and white. and. It was kind of like if you knew if you had to be home at 11 o'clock, you know, if I came home, I don't know if I can ever remember being late, but I knew that, I don't know, let me try to think of a, a consequence that, um, you know, oh goodness, well certain things like, okay, I can remember this clearly I can remember several things that they did that they were that they were really tough to do and one of them I can remember in um, junior high I struggled with math I would always make honor roll but every once in a while I would make a C in math because I really struggled with it and if I made a C in math and they thought I was really trying then I you know wouldn't get in trouble or whatever but a lot most of the time I really probably wasn't trying my best and I can remember um, one time my parents telling me if I didn't make honor roll, I wasn't going to be able to go to the dance. You know, we had a dance like, I don't know, probably four times a year or something. And I didn't make honor roll and I didn't get to go to the I dance. I can also remember but every time I, something like that happened, 
it's not like they, um, there wasn't a big, you know, argument about it. They're, they weren't mean about it. They weren't, um, they didn't make me feel like a bad person. It was just kind of like this consequences, choices and consequences and, you know, how what life is. And I, that is something I definitely need to be better with my kids about, which my kids are really good. I mean, you know, Brooke had a like a tough time a little bit through middle school, and I guess this will kind of go into that too. And um, she struggled some, and I think a lot of it is just because um, being a girl, you know, hormones, um, all the stuff that kids have to deal with now that we did not have to deal with, you know, Instagram, Facebook, all the kind of pressures and stuff that are on. And um, so I, several times, and I do this a lot, I do it with Will's teachers too, I like to keep in touch with my teachers. And so I will have meetings, you know, periodically and talk to the teachers. I usually always have one at the beginning of the year just to see how things are going and, you know, just throughout the year. And so I can remember having a meeting with all of Brooks' teachers and, you know, them saying things, you know, talking to me about Instagram and things like that. And it was just, I just want to say, you know, I think it's very important when you are communicating with your children's teachers or, you know, maybe you're talking to another parent. I am always Brooks or my children's advocate. I'm always on their side. That doesn't mean I'm not going to believe what the teacher says. It doesn't mean, you know, that I'm not going, that she might not be, um, you know, talked to about it or put on restriction or whatever. But if, I think it's very important for your children to know that you are on their side. And I can remember, you know, always thinking about that about my parents. You know, even if I got in trouble or whatever happened, I knew they always had my back. And so kind of like when it says face your day with a new sense of confidence, God is with you. That is another thing that I have been blessed with. And I realize that not everyone is blessed with this. And I do, I am very, very thankful for it is I have always known to this day, I, my parents and my family, they have my back, especially my brother too. I know that, you know, I mean, from the simplest things, you know, advice, um, if I were to, you know, break down in my car or something or need any type of help, I can remember, um, like, probably two years ago, I had a little fender bender. I was showing Brooke something, and I don't know if I even told you guys this, but I, we were actually sitting still in traffic, and I had gotten something, and I turned around in the car. We had just gone to the orthodontist and to Taco Bell, <laughs> and I turned around to show Brooke something, and the car in front of me kind of took off and then stopped, and in my sight, I saw it take off, so I took off, and then I couldn't stop fast enough, and I kind of bumped into the back of them, so, you know, we immediately pulled over. My kids were totally freaked out because... They haven't ever experienced a wreck like that. So, you know, even that was a good experience for them to see how I reacted, to see that I immediately, you know, pulled over and took responsibility. I immediately told the people, let's go straight now, right now to the um, collision center and, you know, I'm going to pay for it, all that kind of stuff. And I immediately called my dad and my brother and got advice. And um, so that is another confidence that I have is knowing that my parents always have my back, you know, mentally and physically in every way. And I've always known that, you know, throughout um, my first marriage and my divorce, I could do a whole, I could do a whole video on all the mistakes I made throughout my first divorce because I was not confident enough. But I think one of the things that did get me through it without totally going crazy is I, I had, had my, my parents, parents right, right there. there and I would just go to their house and I would just sit there and sometimes I would just cry and cry, but they were right there to tell me it was going to be okay and that it was normal to cry. It was normal to feel sad. Um, you know, I remember saying, it's just not fair, you know, and my mom said, you have to get over that. Life is not fair. Things are going to happen to you that aren't fair, and you're going to have to get over it and get on with it. And so they were always there for me to, you know, help me through that. 
And so, you know, when I think about my confidence, I think about all those things that they have said to me. And I also think, I also know that no matter what, you know, no matter what would happen with anything in my life, that I would have them there. And I would also have John there. He's proven that he will be there. And so I think that kind of goes along with confidence and goes along with my confidence. And as a parent, that's something that I just kind of wanted to say is, you know, I've, I just have heard parents the way they talk to their children. And I, you know, I've seen, you know, like my friends, you know, when they would get in trouble, how their parents would just yell at them and like right in front of me and just really, you know, humiliate them. And I just, you know, I know everybody has parenting styles, but I just don't think that that is probably the best thing for a child's confidence. I think it's black and white. We all have decisions that have consequences. Life is just nothing but decisions and consequences. And, you know, if they make a bad decision, they get the consequence. But it doesn't mean you have to, um, you know, humiliate them or, you know, cause resentment or, you know, embarrass them. Or I just think that there should always be that love and that care even when you are being disciplined. And they should always know you are on their side. You know, it's like I just used to tell Brooke, you know, when she would struggle with math. Look, it's me and you. Me and you were going to get through this. And, you know, if her teacher would tell me, well, Brooke's not doing this and this, I would say, you know, your teacher said you're not paying attention enough in class and that you need to ask more questions. But I wouldn't fuss at her about it. And I want her to always know that it was her and I or she and I uh, against you know the world it's just we're a team and we're gonna get through it and I want that to give her confidence I want her to know later on in life if something happens she can come to me and I might not always think it's the right decision but that I'm going to be there and I'm not going to you know be against her and side against her and I just think that's so important I mean you know there have been t several things big things in my life I can remember um, I will say that so many times, but it's true. It's just these memories that pop in my head of trying to buy my first house with my first husband and, you know, having the down payment, but if I would have put 10% down, I could have gotten so much more house. And I can just remember the conversation of my parents saying, you know, we could give you the money, but is it the right thing to do? Should you get in that much of a bind? You know, is it too much house for you right now? And I can remember being disappointed, but they were so true. And looking back now, I'm so thankful. So there's just ways of giving lessons without, you know, and then explain yourself. And I am the type parent, I don't feel, I'm of the thinking because I said so. And I don't always think that there needs to be an explanation. But in some cases, I do think that an explanation is nice, you know, I remember when I asked, would ask my parents if I could go do, you know, whatever, maybe go somewhere for a weekend or do some of the things that my friends would get to do that I wouldn't. And my parents would say no, and then they would explain, you know, it would be easy for us to say yes and let you do whatever you want to do. But being a good parent means sometimes saying no and that it's not, you know, it wouldn't be good for you to be at this place and this place you know, for that long because, you know, this and this might happen and then we wouldn't be able to get to you quick enough or, you know, they would explain certain things, you know, especially as I got older. And whether I agreed with them or not, I saw their point and I could deal with it. And my parents were not about, there was no begging, there was no saying no. Matter of fact, if you know, if my, I can remember when my dad would tell me no, if I'd ask and he told me no, and if I started crying, even as a teen, you know, go up to your room. I'm not, they weren't going to look at it. They weren't going to watch me cry. It was just, this is the answer and you're going to deal with it. And sometimes I would have to cry it out, but I never remember feeling like, oh, I, you know, when you see movies, I hate my parents. I never felt that way because I knew whether I agreed with them or not, I always knew they loved me and I always knew they had my back. So that is what I try to do with my children. And I, I'm lucky that both of my kids are pleasers and they do want to make me happy. They do make mistakes, especially in this world of social media, this pressure 
on a 15 year old girl it is so much tougher you know on her than it was on me because when I was 15 I didn't know what girls in the UK were doing I didn't know you know just I didn't know anything but what was going on in my world and that was tough enough and so I do try to take that into account and I am you know probably a cool mom in a lot of ways and then there's some ways I'm probably not you know but I try to just I try to a lot of times I ask my mom for advice and I do what she did with me and you know what is that there's that saying do the best you can until you know better and then when you know better do better and that's what I try to do so anyway I don't know if this helped you at all and like I said I've got a whole list of you know just ideas on different things that have helped me feel confidence and I just really couldn't go through any of them without telling you you know things that me, made me feel confident as a child and my parents really were and God's love and my parents love really have helped me throughout you know growing up and then I think in the next video I'm going to tell you like specific little tricks that I used to do when I was a teenager I can remember in um, junior high and in high school specific little tricks of how I would kind of trick myself into doing things enough times that I would become confident doing it and feel comfortable and then and I think that's what a lot of confidence is is kind of talking yourself into doing something until you feel comfortable doing it so I'm going to do a quick casual outfit of the day and then okay, let so you go. I have right on back. one of my Sita Couture outfits this is the um, maxi skirt I'll put the link to what it is down below because I can't remember the specific names but like I told you I'm trying to wear some of my favorite summer things before it gets to be too cool or out of season and I saw this hanging there and I was like I want to wear that outfit at least one more time because I love this skirt and all of her stuff is like double lined so you don't have to wear like a slip with it and stuff like that and um, I think you can see oops is that my baby showing through it is sorry <laughs> but I'm um, saying so be careful about that but um so you can see the back of this outfit and i've just got it on with and my flip flops and um I thought, this was funny i don't know if you can see that my shoes sitting here i've had them there so i can just look at them because i haven't worn them yet but um so this is my outfit of the day and then what i'm probably going to do because i can already tell even in my home my back is kind of chilly so i'm probably just going to put on my um mcguire little fringy jacket to go with it because i think i don't know this looks good with gray and um so i wanted to go ahead and just show you that because i know i'm going to get cold and so if i take pictures later it'll probably be with that jacket on um my nails i ended up having to cut this part out of my video i can't remember why i did i might have just edited it for time or whatever but i did cut them short again and i've been loving it man i can just type i can text there's so many things i did not realize the long nails were keeping me from doing as well so i have this color on today it's one that tammy sent me up these beads and it's called houdini and it's one of my favorite colors it's this morgan taylor nail polish and um let me go up close so you can see it yeah that's what i need to do is just go up past the light and then you can see and um then my this is another thing I wanted to go ahead and wear because I, I don't wear this as much in the winter time. I just think it's kind of summery. But this is my Lealena bracelet. And I have several of these still on my website. Um, some really pretty ones. So um, they're on there. And no rings. Oh, earrings. These are the Sheila Fajal. I think they're Alexa earrings. And I always love wearing these with like a maxi dress or skirt. I just feel like big either hoop or dangle earrings look good with maxis and um my hair what did i use oh i used that same shampoo and conditioner the l'oreal the strengthening one but several of you told me to get the hair mask that's in that tub so i used it and so far i really like it um it doesn't feel it's not heavy at all it's more of that keratin hair mask type feeling if you've used them all you know what i mean how it gives you that light but okay so i hope feeling. you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you back here probably on friday we have school orientation and stuff school shopping and all that kind of stuff to do so i will see you here later on in the week see you then bye bye